This is Twit. Have you have you been following the SSD torture test that that Tech Report's uh, been doing? Just utterly fascinating in terms of taking a lot of popular drives and abusing, not abusing them, but putting them through the, the most rigorous, strenuous testing you can possibly do, I think, in terms of just read and write and read and write uh, and, and until they fail. And to give you an idea then of, of potentially, you know, under the worst case scenario, which one remains supreme? Uh, and, and that to me is fascinating to no end and their methodology in terms of just how much data it takes to really wear one of these drives out. Uh, they've come a long way, and and some people are still hesitant, maybe because it's all flash memory, and it's like, well, there's not a if it goes, it goes. Uh, but I think <laughs> this, this this endurance report should give you some some peace of mind uh, yeah. using SSD day in and day out. That it takes an awful lot of data to slow one of these things down and to finally wreck it over over the long term. Well, so, uh, the, the good news. The guy from the Tech Reporter wrote this up. One, he, he he has one of the best opening lines in a technology review ever. Quote, more than a year ago, we drafted six SSDs for a suicide mission, unquote. That's just awesome. Um, the second thing, though, is it's like four drives have died already, but, quote, each one absorbed far more damage than its official endurance specification promised and far more than the vast majority of users are likely to infect, or inflict. Sorry. Jeff, good writing. Me, bad reading. Um, you know, the last victim fell at 1.2 petabytes. Um, and the 840 Pro and a second HyperX 3K have now reached two freaking petabytes of writes. So to put that into perspective, Jeff writes, the SSDs in his main desktop have logged less than two terabytes of writes over the past couple of years. So this is epic, right? For, you know, we've talked a bunch back on Techzilla. We've talked a bunch uh, here on Twit, excuse me, Twitch, uh, about SSD reliability issues because there were some problems with it at some point. But this is, you know, this is crazy. This is, this is a ridiculous uh, uh, lifetime. And it's funny. So, you know, now I, I, I bought a Samsung 840 last week. Now I wish I'd bought the Samsung 840 Pro. Not that I will ever hit uh, two petabytes of writing. But, you know, for people who've been asking us, uh, do we still trust Samsungs given the issue with the slowdowns over time on the Pro and possibly the 840, the standard 840s? Uh, you know, when I talked to Al Malventano over at PC Per, he said, go buy the Samsungs. I, I bought a one terabyte drive last week because SSD prices have officially hit stupid cheap even without black friday um now i just need a four there was supposed drive. to be a firmware update for the evo model supposedly related to the issue you just brought up but there i, I have noticed no performance issues whatsoever right. and I, I still keep an eye out actually i should run my updater just to see if there's a firmware update for well, it but there's also there's a difference between like you know the if if you edit video for a living versus if you write for a living right the volume of data being written on your drive is going to be vastly different but yeah, yeah. they they are they have they have acknowledged Samsung's acknowledged it. They're working on it. They've played around with some beta. There is one uh, you can actually do. Uh, you can actually uh, uh, download now, though it's considered kind of a beta fix and only to be used if you're having serious issues. Yeah. Ain't, ain't doing no beta with my SSD. <laughs> I have had an SSD drive fail though, and that is that reminds right. you and should remind everyone to back up your most important files <laughs> because when it goes it, it literally is like it just doesn't exist and that can be that can be heartbreaking if there's something important on that ultra fast drive that you need and you can't get and it's gone and so but like i said read, read that sync, report if you haven't dropbox crash plan something. external drive just bought some flash drives over the over oh. Black Friday. There were some sand disks, just to, some USB drives, right. just to put stuff on and use for various testing. But yeah, have your data in more than one location. <laughs> right. But again, that article is awesome in the sense that it just shows that there are drives out there that you can you can sling a ton of data at and have really no realistic uh, uh, performance degradation or and or you're just going to get great longevity out of it. Um, these drives are really built well, uh, right. and I expect them to only get better over time. But uh, okay. compared to those first couple of gens where there were chipset issues and, oh, you, you should update your firmware on this particular model or that model, uh, I'm, I'm seeing a lot less of that. And, right. and it's just getting to be uh, a commodity item now with great reliability and great long-term performance. 
And thank goodness, because especially in notebooks, uh, there is no slower component or or the single slowest part in most computers nowadays is that hard drive. Yeah. And and, and that it, it, changing it's, that to an SSD changes everything. 